I've not got. Um, I'm going to sit here and bemoan the players. The opposite. I think I feel for the players tonight because absolutely wasn't an application thing. You control the game. You create some chances. Um, I think with the 20% more confidence as a group, we win the game. Probably. No disrespect to Brentford because they can go with anybody. But I think the way the game set up for me today, uh, we would win that game, and, and we don't probably um, because of the moment we're in. It's not a tactical problem for me at the minute in the short term. Um, but at the minute, there's, there's clearly a, a confidence problem, and I can see that in the players' faces after because they're not they're not sitting there bemoaning each other at this moment. There's a there's a, there's a nature of them being down. I walked into that; they've been living it longer than me, um, and we're trying everything to affect it. So, Paul, another loss for Lampard. I mean, does he have himself to blame? You look at last night, the, the starting eleven, the formation he picked with only one attacker, and that was Raheem Sterling up front on his own in this 3-4-2-1 formation. Yeah, but possibly, but, you know, they've, that's, they've lost a lot of games before that as well. I think Frank's probably looking at it and just to try something a bit different. Maybe with the five at the back, Brentford well know are a big physical team who, who caused teams lots and lots of problems. Maybe that had something to do with it. Um, Cante being a bit more further forward, maybe he's looked for a bit of energy to um, mm -hmm. go and support Raheem Sterling. Um, but I, I genuinely think he's just wanted to try something a bit different, you know, because the, the form they've been in has been terrible. They've not been scoring goals. Um, and defensively, they've been poor as well. You know, people look at them not scoring again last night, but the two goals they conceded against Brentford were, were really, really poor when, when you look at the defenders that they've got in the pitch. So it's, it's a tough one for Frank, but, you know, and I think going in there, he would have known what he was letting himself into. Yeah. Um, but maybe not quite. Once you're in the door, it sometimes can be worse than it actually is. What about Chelsea's goal-scoring form? I mean, they failed to score at home for the, for the seventh time in this Premier League season. They're outright most, I should say, in a single campaign in the competition. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, he came on at uh, half-time and had the most shots in the match. This was him coming on at half-time. Should he have started in hindsight? Um, in hindsight, yeah. Um, you know, looking up in the second half, um, it was like the Aubameyang of old, so possibly going into the weekend, we might see him mm. starting there again. But... You know, I'll go back to the start of the season in January of Chelsea's recruitment. You know, spent a lot of money and a lot of players, and the one thing that was crying out for them was to get a number nine in and get a centre forward. Um, okay, they wanted to strengthen defence. They wanted to spend a lot of money in the likes of Mudrick um, and wide areas. Raheem Sterling coming in, um, who played centre forward last night. We all know he's he plays wide, left or right. Um, but the fact that that they didn't go out and get a centre forward, which they could have done, the money that they've spent is a huge, huge problem for them. 